Hello, this is me again, and uh, me doing Splinter Cell Part 2 of the White House, and this is exactly where I turn the video off, you haven't missed anything whatsoever, I haven't turned difficulty, it's unrealistic, uh, here we go, so right, you don't want to go down those stairs, I won't give you that, you do not want to go down those stairs, come down here, nice and quietly up here, human shielding, you do not want to execute him, because people may come out, just throw him in there. Crouch. Come over here. Right then. I'm through. You need to execute all of these. But remember, get your flashbang or AMP grenade ready. And you're going to throw it in there and there. You're going to throw it there and there. Three, two, one. Now quickly. I don't have a big summit. I can't kill this guy. That was pretty simple. That's a really simple part. This way is the turret. This bit is pretty easy. To be honest, bearing, it, bearing in mind, it is the very, it is uh, one of the last missions. It is a pretty easy mission. So right, anyway, over here, pick the M468. The gun I had already had the fault anyway. You want to come out of here, then you will get shot. There is no way to not be detected against it. You will, you will be detected or shot, whether you like it or not. You've got to wait for it to stop firing. Quickly, you come over here. Wait, wait, wait a while for it to stop there. Alright. Now, what you want to do is hit. There. Put the remote mine there. Get your machine out. Everyone, hold on. Remember, you should have your exit Now leave one guy. You have to leave one guy so you can get another execute. That is majorly my key point when playing some of these missions. Leave at least one. So then you still get your execute, but you take out the others. Right then. Now you have to face the turret again. But it's quite simple. What you have to do is throw your mine up there. Done. That was easy. Or you can throw a grenade. I don't mean you throw the grenade and it hits about there or anywhere around here. And it'll bounce back and it should blow in. Right. We're out of time. Come down here. Where are you? I'm close. Get closer. He's knocking on the door to the Oval Office right now. Right then. So over here, you have to sort of trip like, a wire, so to speak. You've got to lose that wire. It's a figure of speech, basically. You come over here, you come in this room, you do not want to go on the outside. Do that. Here they, here they come. So you want to get here. Like, you should be able to take out two. Or in my case, three. That was a bad idea. I didn't mean to mark three. I marked three so I could see where three of them were, where the three of them were. And then I was able to execute two. So again, as you know, I could have got my uh, my execute. Right then, now what you want to do, you want to sort of wait for these guys because it's going to get tough. There is only one guy, but believe me, there is one. I promise you. That failed. I epically failed it, I have to. Right then, you have to wait a little bit now. I can't go back there, otherwise he will come after me. Now, if he comes round, I will have I will... Okay, so now what you want to do, you want to get your flashbang out, actually. Throw a flashbang. Go around. And hand kill. Quickly come back. 
Macro went smoother, but there's another way to do it, I'm afraid. Sonar, Mark, these guys. Everyone hold up and wait for the contact! Remember, Stop leave it. one. EMP. No, People don't often use their flashbang or EMP grenades, but they are very useful if you use my tactics, which is leave one behind, otherwise they're easy to see you, none unless you stay in the shadows. But come out here, ignore them. Get your frag grenade ready, or a bit of Come in here, throw one there. Again. There, I was very lucky. Yes, again. I am so lucky with this game. Now then. <laughs> okay. Obviously, there is a G360 on display. Uh, so yeah, that's basically how you did that. I would do that exactly the way I did. Although you're obviously, obviously you're not supposed to be detected. They come down there, this is the end of the mission. This bit, this bit is very, very easy. Come down here, it's a very long, it's a quite short cut, cut scene. I will leave you to it. For whatever it's worth saying, to watch. I'm so sorry for everything. I thought we were in a hurry. Right. We need to get you close to Reese, and we need to do it in a way that doesn't make him double tap the president immediately. Got any ideas? One. But it's gonna hurt. Just do what you have to do. I always do, Sam. I always do. <laughs> Tom? About Fisher. I'm bringing him in. Don't do anything drastic until I get there. Sorry, Sam. You're going to the Oval Office. You've got to dress properly for the occasion. Sam? Comfortable? Ah, fuck. Comfortable? You just shot yeah. him in the arm. You being serious? I've got an appointment with the president. He's really going to be comfortable, isn't he? An obedient nine millimeter bullet in his arm. Yeah. I'm okay. feeling quite relaxed, actually. Stupid text. Speech weather. All those years you were lying to me. It was for the greater good, Sam. And I would do it again in a heartbeat for the same reason. Guess I never did know you. No, you didn't. And you still don't. Hmm. Whatever. Ugh. I was wondering when you were going to get here. Nice work, Anna. I see you got some payback in for the stun he pulled at the airfield. Well, he pulled a little bit. I'm going to have to turn this off right about here. now. I'll see you back quickly. Just in time to be useful.